I wanted to do a little video today on the patio peach and this is going to be um, a video that I'm going to work on for several months and kind of show you the stages and the phases with the patio peach. This is our second year living at this house. Second year as owners to three patio peach trees. These two are my larger two. The other one's about half the size of these and it's in another location. So as you can see, they're in bloom right now and they bloom robustly. Also a little different than some flowering trees. And when I first moved here, I thought that these were just an ornamental little tree that did these um, beautiful blooms. I mean, it's extremely fragrant, beautiful, just, I mean, almost the entire stem is covered in blooms. But after a couple months, I saw little fuzzy green peaches coming. A ton of them, absolute ton of them. And then they all fell off. Now, we had a late frost that year. And I don't know if maybe that is why we experienced that with these um, this year. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if that happens again. Um, these trees from my research that I've done on the variety, they, they do not grow super tall and that's to make it easy. And you can see the previous owner has tagged the tree here. Let me see if I can get it so you can see it. Okay. Oh. So here is my third smaller patio peach, which is definitely a much younger um, planting, but still very beautiful, gorgeous. Um, so we will revisit these in a couple weeks when we have some progress. been a couple weeks since the flowering on these uh, patio peaches and you can see the leaves are starting to emerge and that they are a dark uh, burgundy or wine color you can see remnants of blooms in here There's a real late blossom there, but so far we don't have any fruit forming or anything like that. Just the leaves emerging. And today in Pennsylvania, it is the last day of April. So it is now May 11th. And you can see there are little fruits forming. They're fuzzy. These came last year. And there's a ton of them. These came last year and they got probably two or three times the size. And then they fell off. And I don't know if it's because we had a late frost last year or not. You can see the leaves are nice and dark burgundy. We'll check back in in a couple weeks. It is now June 2nd here in Pennsylvania and I thought it was probably time to revisit these patio peach trees so you could see how they've progressed. It's been a oh, I think about three weeks since I showed you them. You can see the leaves are coming out more now. Uh, there are some greener, smaller leaves coming out. So it is filling in and hidden beneath these leaves. Our peaches are still here. And you can see they're starting to get a peach-ish look. And they even have that fuzz that a peach has. So now there are a ton I mean, it is loaded, absolutely loaded. 
This is about the time last year, actually, it was probably a week prior to this, we had a late frost and they all fell off. Now, we should be safe from frosts now, but I, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I'm not sure if they fell off last time because of the frost or if that's just what they do. I don't know. And you can see this one's even getting a little coloration. So there are some that have fallen. Not many, but the tree is absolutely loaded. So we'll come back and check it out again, see what happens. Today is July 7th. You can see our tree is filling out here nicely and the leaves are camouflaging the fruit, which is still there and it's still growing. Um, the fruit in diameter, I'd say right now is about the size of half dollar overall. We are still losing a little bit here on the ground. We do get some high winds where I'm located, but really there's a lot of fruit still on here. It is August 2nd. The fruit is still hanging on the trees. There are still some dropping, but there's still a considerable amount hanging. The fruit are growing, but they're not super huge. They're still firm. So I'm not sure I'm not sure what these are going to end up being like. They are getting a little bit more of a peachy color to them. Now in comparison to another peach tree I have, which actually maybe I'll just show you that while we're walking there, I'm going to talk to you. Um, in comparison to another peach tree I have, these just really are lacking in size. And maybe that's how they're supposed to be. Maybe they're just like this little nibble of a peach. I don't know. I'm not sure how this all works, but I wanted to show you these other peaches just to give you an idea of what other peaches in the area are doing right now. Now, this peach tree, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's all kinds of peaches hanging there, getting nice and peachy in color. But, um, this peach tree, I have no idea the make, not the make, the variety, no clue. There might be a tag on it somewhere. Maybe I'll find it in the fall. Maybe I won't, but um, the previous homeowner has so many fruit trees planted. Last year, this did not produce either. This year it did. Um, it was never pruned. As you can see, I've got fruit way up there, but it, it just kind of is what it is. We're trying to work through, but look at this peach. It's still hard, but look, it's as big as my hand. And I have a big hand. So these are coming along. We didn't spray or anything. Um, and I mean, there are, there is some, bug damage on the tree, but overall, I think the fruit looks pretty good. I'm, I'm actually kind of in shock about it. <laughs> but anyways, so there's how it compares. It's like a quarter of the size of a regular peach tree. But anyways, I'll bring you back in a little more time and show you what that patio peach is doing. So today is August 19th and they are still growing here. We still have quite the clusters. You can see some color is taking on now on the fruit. They are still very firm, um, but they have grown in size. 
Now my other peaches that I showed you last time down on the other tree, they are totally finished. They ripened and um, I have processed them all and preserved them all and they are done. So I don't know if these are just supposed to be later or if, if nothing's gonna come of them. I just don't know. Now we had a storm, um, kind of like hurricane-ish stuff kind of hit our area. And this tree, though it's not, I don't think it's broken, but it's just really hanging heavily. The whole tree is just kind of sagging and it could be just the rain from that storm is going into the into the fruit and just weighing down the tree i don't know it is heavily heavily i don't know covered in fruit um but like i said they're they're all still very hard right now i mean they're like a large golf ball maybe just a little bit bigger than what a golf ball is so as I'm walking you over here to my patio peach trees, I just wanna give you a summary of events here. So we had Hurricane Ida come through. I live in central Pennsylvania. We weren't hit terribly here where I live. We did have a lot, a lot of rain and we did have winds. And I just want to mention that when I show you the tree here. So you can see I have um, a limb that has broke off now these peaches are getting heavy this tree is really weighing down this tree is standing more upright but also heavy uh some additional fruit is on the ground like i said there were high winds but the fruit is getting larger it is still hard it is getting a more peachy color to it um, but I'm wondering if this fruit had been thinned out, would these peaches have grown larger? And this one's fairly decent, but I, I still don't think they're ready yet. Now I have another patio peach tree over here. And I want to show you that one because I noticed um, it initially had less peaches on it and I noticed that uh, those peaches were looking a little bigger so I want to go look at that but on the way would you like to see my hornet's nest <laughs> I don't know if you can see it I don't want to get too close it's right there my fingers like on it it's huge yeah we got to figure out how to get rid of that um but it must have been there for quite some time and you know with the size that it is and then nobody has been negatively affected by the hornets uh, but i do know that it is a it is a danger okay so here's the other patio peach this is a younger tree and look at that one this is much oops. This is much larger. This one is actually softening a little bit. Look at this one. That one's pretty big. So we need to visit those again soon and see what does become of it. Now this one, like I said, it wasn't as heavily loaded. There is still some drop, but not nearly as much. This tree also, just with the proximity that it's in, it could have been a little more sheltered from the wind. There's, you know, with Ida, there's this row of pines here. It's got some shelter to the side. There were two additional shrubs here that which we just pulled out, which also kind of sheltered it. So it might have had a little more prote protection. Um, but I think we're getting close here, close to close to the end. 
and I am anxious to see what does become. So the date is now, today is September 7th. So I'm back with my patio peach trees. It is the 15th of September. I went ahead and picked this peach. I'm gonna cut it and see what it looks like inside. It is um, slightly soft. There's a little giving to pressure. Um, there is a little bit of coloring here. And this peach is about the size of a basketball, or not a basketball, no, forgive me, a baseball, which is much more than I expected out of this tree um, and much more than I saw last year. So I thought I'd cut it open and we'd see what we're dealing with and we'd see how much longer we need to wait or if they were right. These are my other uh, patio peach trees. They um, are much more laden with fruit than that other tree. A lot of fruit is dropping now. They are not nearly as large. Of course, there is so much more fruit, but I thought maybe I'd grab one of these too to see what we were looking at with this. These do have a little bit better coloring. Still feels, feels firmer than my other one did. Let's just try it. You can see. So, less peaches, bigger fruit. Makes sense, right? Okay, so here's the inside. The larger one did have a bug. Um, these are still extremely hard, and you can see the inside. I don't know if you can tell. Let me give you a comparison. It's very yellow. It's not, it's not ripe yet, uh, but there is a great peachy smell. Uh, the taste is kind of bitter It's and it's crunchy. So I think it's still too early to pull these from the tree. I think they still need more time on the tree. Now, peaches, typically you do have to pick before they're totally ripe in order to get um, you know, because they'll fall and, you know, then they'll get eaten up by the bugs and get bruised and, uh, you just need to have them ripen like on a counter or someplace better than on the tree. But I think these are way too firm. I mean, way too firm to even pick them yet. But on the same note, I am impressed from trees that produced nothing last year to this. I believe that there is hope for these and maybe they could be good producers with good fruit. Late peach, a late, late peach, but all the same. So I think we'll check back up on them in a week or two and see what the fruit is like then. Bad news is I missed the peaches actually being ripe. Or maybe they never did get ripe, I'm not sure. but. They're gone now, it's October 1st, and uh, we'll probably start seeing some foliage changes here soon, as my other trees are starting to change. So we'll follow that um, and see how that goes. So here's our patio peach. It is the end of November. There was that really foliage change in color. Um, just leaves start to drop. And you can see some down here and you can see some still remaining actually this tree is holding pretty steady if you look around at some of my other trees now this was one of the very first ones to drop but um i really only have one maple uh, that still has leaves other than um you know some evergreens and and these are boxwoods so there you have it. That is the year with the patio peach tree. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see what, you know, what will happen next year with those peaches. I, I've got some ideas for some different tactics. And um, while I'm walking back to my house here, uh, if you spotted in the middle of my video, 
uh, the hornet's nest. I thought I would show you again <laughs> the hornet's nest. Uh, now that it's cold, I think we can safely get rid of it. But it is huge. Look at that. And it's a lot safer to get closer to it now. So neat. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more random stuff.